Hi, Andy Gillies here. Uh, today I want to share with you a couple of tips uh, as to how to navigate around the documents that we might be sent for an interpreting a assignment. In the old days, of course, navigating around paper documents meant labelling them and arranging them on the work surface in front of you so you could find them. Now we're being sent an awful lot of PDFs, PowerPoints, Word documents and what have you. And I'm going to show you a trick for navigating through them with an app called Liquid Text so that you can find the documents instantly when you need them whilst you're working in simultaneous. And now the first thing that I'm going to do when I use uh, Liquid Text is save all of my documents as PDF files. That means that, first of all, they're in a set format I can't accidentally change the content and secondly they'll all work with the, this app liquid text um, I'm going to import all of the documents that have been sent here into liquid text and you can see them appear in the left hand uh, column left hand menu column and then I'm going to start with my agenda so I've got my agenda open and um, Looking down it, I see the first document I might want to look for is the set of minutes. So, without having renamed any of these documents in the left-hand column, I'm going to pull them in. And you can see Liquid Text allows me to see both documents at the same time. So I'm just going to pull in the documents until I see the one that I'm looking for. And here, hop, minutes. Okay, and now this is where Liquid Text really does something uh, new and offers real value, I'm going to draw with my pencil a line between the two documents. Now when I close the minutes, I still have this little arrow here in my agenda. And that, if I click on it, takes me to the minutes. Over in my minutes, I might actually write agenda here so that I know where that arrow goes in case I have more arrows later. And what I can also do is say, hold my finger here over the other side and then click on this link. And then again, both documents will open up so I know where I'm, where I'm at. So let's just do that again. I go down the next item on the agenda is uh, exchange of views on quality food. So I'm gonna look for some documents. I haven't seen that, anything that matches that yet. Next document, however, is quality food for all. So. I'll create the link going across there. Next, next, doc next item five, exchange of views. Well, there doesn't seem to be a document lined up for that. So I go through the agenda and I reckon the next one I'm going to find is this report by Mr. Lintz. Have I seen it already? I'm not sure. So I'll go back to the beginning, just keep throwing the documents in. And here we go, Lintz draft opinion. And again, I'm going to create a line between the two. So now my agenda becomes a reference point for any of the documents that I need during the meeting. Now, in, in case my agenda isn't much use, or that the meeting documents are not set out in a sort of agenda format, like if you're doing legal proceedings or adversarial proceedings, for example, arbit arbitration, uh, patent cases, it might be more useful to create your own document list. So here, for example, is the document list I created in Word. I've just written a list of the documents I want to find and we'll group them. You can group them however you like, of course. And then I just do the same process. So amendments, that's to the Linz report. So it's going to go there, drag that in. That's the Linz report itself, drag that in. Um, I think I saw a commission document earlier, commission doc, there we go. And there's a link between the documents. Nice thing with uh, the iPad and the pen is also that you can add. So for example, this document doesn't look like it's actually been listed anywhere. I'm just going to call it background, EPRS, create a link, and then I can find that when I'm looking for it. So there you have it. There's a, an easy trick to find all of your documents very rapidly whilst you're working in the booth in simultaneous.